All right, so on this particular Lunch and Learn, I'm going to try to get this into about 10 minutes. I'm going to demonstrate this uh, banner test box. And one of the issues that we have when you're trying to uh, work on machine tools is you've got sensors. That, and how do you check to make sure they're working? You're one person. You want to make sure that the, the sensor is working correctly. And... Those are the items that generally get damaged quickly or get damaged first. So this, I've got this little test box here. What I want to do is show you this, uh, how this works. I've got this voltmeter set up here. So it's reading, uh, oh, that's nice. It's reading uh, backwards, but it's reading uh, voltage. So right now I'm reading just in millivolts. I'm going to go ahead and put my probes in here. And when I do, I get 27 volts. Uh, let me see here. 20. So I'm reading about 27 volts, which indicates that the bat there's enough power here to run my 24 volt system. So from here, what I'd like to do is look at my these several different kinds of sensors. They're all photoelectric. So when I, I can plug one of these in, these are M12 connectors, by the way. So I can plug one of these in. And what'll happen is when I hook this up, You'll notice right off the bat, one of my sensor outputs works. I put my hand in front of the sensor, nothing happens. But if I put a, a device, it's a reflective device in front of the sensor, output number two is turned on. Output number two, that's this one right here. This is the one that's going to go active. So this device, this particular device works, and you can see the output comes on when there's nothing in front of it. When, when I put this, this reflector out here, now that's going to turn my output off. So what's going to happen is if a device breaks this plane, if I can't do this, let's see if I can figure out a way to, if I set this out like this and I break the plane, the light will come on. See that? So that's it. That's this particular kind of sensor. It's awful easy to take and put a sensor in here to change the sensor out and get a different style. So this particular sensor here that I'm going to plug in, this this one is a diffuse style. So this one I plugged it in and there's no output. When I put my hand in front of it. No reflector required. So everything is contained inside the sensor. So as I block the device, as a, the light is blocked, it comes on. Could I use this to replace the other device? They are different. I could put a reflector in front of it. If I do, both lights come on. So I could use this to replace that other device, even though they're completely different styles. This is a third device, different style. And we have to be careful. We're not replacing parts by weight or by look and feel. So here's a photoelectric sensor. If I break, put the light up here in front of it. Ooh, look, doesn't work. So I've got a green light in the front, it says it's working. When I put my reflective device in front of it, I'm not seeing anything, not seeing an output on my device down here. So what does that tell me? <laughs> Gives me a pretty good indication, that even though I've got a green light here, there's something still wrong with this device. I need It needs to be replaced. I'm going to take this one out. And here's a, another type of device. And... So this one, when I plug it in, output number one is on and not output number two. Can I put my hand in front of it to make it operate? No, it doesn't work. If I put the sensor in front of it, what happens? It switches from output one to output two. A different kind of photoelectric sensor. The important thing to realize here is that we can't change parts 
just because they're photoelectric cells. There's three different styles. One of them is retroreflective. That requires the sensor. There's transmitter receiver type. And then we also have the diffuse type. Diffuse is this one I showed you here that has everything is included internally. We have other, I have other devices down here. This one happens to have three pins, which means it's an AC device. This device might look like a photo sensor because it's similar to this one. This is a photo sensor. This is a proximity detector. We're not looking at proxies today. I have one other kind of device here. This one has a cable hooked up to it. So with this particular cable, we want to hook up power to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up. The red wire goes to plus. The black wire is going to go to minus. And then I've got the blue wire, a blue and a white wire left. I'm going to go ahead and hook the blue wire up to number one. And now my light comes on. When I put my reflector in front of it. Oh, dear. That was supposed to switch. Let me try the other. I'm pretty sure I had this right. So I've got a sensor here that's not working correctly. This one should have flipped because this is the right output. Number one is blue. No, I know what I did wrong. Lo siento. Blue is negative. Blue is negative. There. Pays to hook it up correctly. Red is plus. Blue is minus. Black is output number one. So now when I when I bring the the reflector in front the light comes on. Excellent. So that's that's how we can check this using this particular device. There's um, this thing also has a cable out the back of it, so I can hook I can hook up the device with the pins like I did here, or I can use this mechanical cable and hook up to any other device. So I'm going to disconnect this one. And I'll go back and hook up the retroreflective device. This is the one that does not require a, set, a reflector on it. And this one here, there's set just up. So I can adjust the, the potentiometer here on the very top. So as I zoom in here, you can see this pot right here. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.